Happy Bloom Day 24. Mom and I are at the townhouse. And we just got here, so we're kind of just unloading some things. Um, I'm gonna be working in the closet this morning because I packed up like 90% of my clothing and I'm gonna put that away. But mom is currently going through this bag, or not bag, but like box of stuff that was left for me by the previous homeowner. So by the way, he left me all of that wallpaper that was left over. So actually my uncle's coming over in a little bit to help me with something. But my uncle actually really liked the wallpaper. Like he's kind of more of a woodsy guy anyways. So um, we saved some of the wallpaper for him because there was like, what, like one full roll and a bunch of like little guys yeah. left over. Yeah, so anyway. But mom is diligently going through this. Ooh, here's a CD. Ooh, it's a CD. Maybe it has secrets in there. Yeah, but there's been some interesting things. The only thing that's kind of like salvageable is this. It's like a silicone um, and it's never been used. So I think I'm actually gonna keep that. So yeah, why not? And it's just a white, so it'll actually go with everything. And fun fact, my neighbors, that way, over there. They're the ones that I actually ended up giving my uh, faux wood blinds to, and they are putting them up right now. So they have like the little window already done, which is like that little, window i can never do this right you guys right there um they have that one done and i think uh the guy what's his name clark clark is he's up in one of the other windows right now putting him in <laughs> so so yeah they were very excited to get them i haven't met clark yet but i've um seen wendy a couple of times oh what else did you find oh this is Ooh. paint chocolate brown and then we've got black premier and then we've got a clear coat and a sponge on granite countertop. And it looks like he actually used it. All right, so I'm gonna get started in the bedroom today. And I think by the time I'm done with that, it'll be about lunchtime. So I'm gonna run out and get some lunch for us. Plus I need to go and get a couple of extra things that I forgot yesterday. And then, um, and then I will actually start painting. So I'm gonna be doing all that. Oh, look what Oops. I found! Oh, all that upper stuff. What did you find? Oh, it's, it's drain clearing stuff oh. like the toilet and this is probably for the sink maybe Ooh. i don't know i'm gonna wash them up a little bit why not why not right. we'll use it yeah. <laughs> all right well i'm gonna jet we're gonna do some stuff and i'll check in later all right so here are all of the clothing that i need to hang up um i've got all my hangers over here they're like the huggable hangers um i got them all on amazon and then i have a couple of things that are already hung so I've got my scarves, randomly. I think I've shown these before in a video a long time ago. This was my high school graduation dress, which I love. This looks crazy, but it is my high school, my senior prom dress. <laughs> and then inside of here is like my um, brownie and like Girl Scout stuff. So anyway, I still keep it for nostalgia. It's only a couple of items, why not? So, and then I've got more hangers here. So I am gonna get started doing this. And then also I've got this big suitcase and that is full of clothes as well. So I'm gonna get started and I will show you the progress. We find my mother in her natural state, painting. She's got all this done. I had to actually leave because I ran out of hangers, so I had to go back home and get more, walk the dog, actually stopped at my favorite place, Walmart, uh, got some things, and then uh, went to the hardware store as well because I needed to get something else. So, um, went and grabbed lunch as well. So we're gonna have some Subway sandwiches for lunch, and then we're gonna get right back to it. So. That's the update. I haven't finished the closet yet, so as soon as I finish it, I will show you guys. What's what's going on with your hand there? You get oh, little just a little yeah. occupational hazard. Well, hello. I'm in the closet. I've completely unpacked everything now. So, let me just take you around and show you my method to my mayhem. It's not going to stay exactly this way, but um it's a start. All right. So, here's just a quick overview of the closet real quick. So on the left hand side, there is only one bar and then in the center there's two and on the right hand side there are two. So the method to my mayhem is over here, I have just like some specialty dresses and then I actually have like actual dresses that I never wear. But over here I actually have a bunch of like hanging like cubbies in storage that I'm gonna put over here for like my shoes and um, all of my 
like socks and underwear and like small things because I don't have a dresser nor do I want a dresser so I figured that would be good over here I don't I think it'll probably take up about as much space as to here but I don't know yet so I am gonna put my tops up above here at some point but there's so much stuff in the way that I'm just gonna wait until that all can go somewhere else but um, here are all of my tops so all right let's see let's start over here so here are all of my scarves I've got my three blazers which I haven't worn in like a year <laughs> I've got just like regular tank tops to like go underneath stuff I do have more than this but obviously I have a lot more stuff at my parents house and then I've got uh, sleeveless all the way to long sleeves in color coordinating order and I do it by type so like you can see the rainbow kind of start over a little bit but I don't wear a lot of colorful clothes but those are all my tops and then over to the right so all of these so these are just like my regular pants and then all of these right here are all leggings i know i've got a problem but they're so freaking comfortable you guys and it's like totally socially acceptable to wear them um i do have quite a bit of colorful stuff just because of lululemon or not lululemon whatever a lulero i don't wear the colorful stuff that often but i do love them um here right here are all my pajamas i have my erin connard pajamas and these are kind of like a I don't know, like a specialty, like a winter pajama. And then here's just some like pajama pants because I normally just wear like a tank top or a top with my pajamas, I don't really care. All right, and then up here is like all of my like loungy, casual and like workout gear. So over here I have like pants and then I have like crop pants over here too. And then it's all in color order. So some of this stuff is like way more sporty, some of it's super loungy. But yeah, same, same idea, it goes from like tank top, short sleeve, to long sleeve, and then pants. I also have this little guy here I got at the container store many years ago. This is where I store all of my jewelry, none of it's fancy, it's all like stuff from like Express and Forever 21. Right now I just have like some handbags over here, I don't really have that many, but eventually I think I'll put them in a like little bin up above there because I don't really switch out my handbags too often. But that is a look at what's happening in the closet right now. Hopefully next weekend I will be able to like revamp this a little bit more. So anyway, I'm gonna get to painting now and um, let me show you what the mama is up to. Look at this. It's all white. Look at that. <gasps> First coat. I gotta do the other side, but Look at mom go. I gave her a Subway sandwich and she's just going like crazy. Yeah, she's like going to town like crazy over there. So that won't take me that long. Plus I gotta do this little part of the landing which is totally normal and fine. But I think she's almost, oh look, oh look, she's got more. How much more in your collection? <laughs> Cry mini lady. I could be a hand model. You could. <laughs> Are you gonna be, it's your new career? in retirement well people keep asking you if you're available for adoption or if you would like to come and paint their house because you're doing such a good job yeah well guess what i'm not going to church tomorrow morning with this hand <laughs> yeah they're gonna think she needs to get saved or something yeah. so. <laughs> all right we got a little bit of an action shot going on here putting the blinds in we got reinforcements my brother myron is here helping yeah they're doing their stuff all right i think i just going to like I'll do it. Do this all the way because it's too loose. There we go. Look at that. Oh. Insane. Okay. Emily's working. Make some more noise. Oh. So Emily and Myron are trying to put this up and Emily says, Ooh, we need to go. Yeah, I'm not going to read the instructions. It's like, really? There. Okay, so they're just going to wing it and see how this goes. So it could be interesting. Ooh. They're testing on the guest bedroom first. Myra just found something scary. I don't know what that was. It says danger right here. Right danger. Danger. Danger, oh, okay. I'm my little, little mallet, I'll be right back. Oh, oh yeah. whoa, she needs a mallet. She's I gonna, oh my gosh, whoo. Okay, so my uncle and I just completed the first one. Good job, Myron. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just completed this one. I'm very, very excited about it. It looks awesome. Um, I did put up this, it's like the little guard, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever gonna like really open this unless I 
you know, I'm gonna open the windows, but I would more or less be using this little contraption here which to let the light in and out and stuff. So, oh, it looks so nice. I love the way it looks. Mom has yet to see it. Maybe we can convince her to come up here. Take a look. <laughs> uh, I moved on to another project. Oh man, look at her. She's doing more things. All right, well, Myron and I are gonna start doing the next room and then maybe mom will come after that. All right, so we're in the master bedroom and my uncle and I finally just finished this. So these are the, well, I haven't even shown the hall yet, but I guess you're seeing part of it now. My target hall is gonna be up on Wednesday, but these are the uh, Nate Burkus curtain panels I got from Target along with the uh, Room Essentials white shears. And um, here are the curtain rods I ended up getting, but oh, I'm just very, very excited about this. And uh, I know it's hard to see because it's like really bright in here, which is making it really dark on camera, and I apologize. I was telling my uncle that really the reason why I wanted all these shears is for privacy, so I can still have, you know, the blinds open, but um, be able to, you know, do whatever I want to do in here. So anyway, that was kind of the catalyst to that. There's also white beautiful blinds courtesy of my favorite mother. So I uh, figured out a way to pull out all the bad blinds or like the ones that were just gonna sit in there. So yeah, figured all that out and we're good to go. Well that's nice. Yeah? Oh yeah, I love it with the, um, with the panels in the middle. Yeah. The shears. Mom's looking at the yeah. master for the first time. So sorry the lighting's all askew, but yeah. um, I actually extended it 10 inches on each side. So it looks a whole, makes the wall look so much bigger than it is. Anyway, I ended up extending the rod 10 inches on both sides, so it makes the wall look so much bigger um, because I have the room for it because I'm not actually putting my bed against this wall at all. It's actually going to go against this wall right here. So yeah, but mom likes it. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, you can kind of see it now, like in the, it's like color adjusting everything because mm. I'm getting rid of the light. You want to show off your arm? There's more, not less, mm. there's more. Yeah, I've been washing a lot, it's not working. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, but yeah, I love the shears in the middle, I think it looks yeah, really nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, the shears really make it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, and again, I was telling the vlog too, I really wanted the shears for privacy so I could still have all the light coming in, um, but then, you know, just be able to walk around and, mm -hmm. you know, just not worry about people looking in and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I think nice. that'll be, that'll be nice. Looks nice. Yeah, the closet's kind of-ish done. It's, it's getting there. There's just a lot of stuff in the way and once, once the floors are done, we're good. We're moving in. So. Oh, we're just on the mercy of the flooring company, but I just busted out my new steamer and um, just took it out of the box. So play with that tomorrow, maybe. But this looks nice too. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really nice. Mm-hmm. And, and they're just, they're not shears, but they're just like a linen-y fabric. And yeah. I think that that looks nice. I posted on Instagram about this. I just got this from Amazon. I primed it, of course. I'll link it below for you guys. Um, this is the Abyssal Crosswave. I've heard nothing but amazing reviews on it and I wanted to like show you because there's so much crap on the floor right now. So I want to show you really quickly what it does. It's like a wet and a dry vacuum situation. You can use it on carpet and like hard floors, which is why I got it for hard floors. I thought it would be an awesome thing. And I've heard it's really good with pet hair too. So we'll see. But um, I haven't even tried the mopping function yet, so let's try it. Um, but we're going to do a hard floor really for uh, right now, so let's try this out. So it definitely got all this stuff. There was little bits of like carpet debris. I know it's hard to see because there's like a ton of paint on the floor. But <laughs> it won't suck up paint. Dry it paint. won't suck up the paint. No. But I wanted to try, I think this is like the mop bucket or the mop function. Let's try it together. I did put in... Like, this is the little thingy majiggy here, but you put in mostly water and then like a little bit of the solution that it's shipped with um, for this. So, I don't know, let's see how dirty these floors are because they're probably really gross. All right, so you do hard floor and then you hit the little button underneath. Okay,
super clean, you guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's okay. really clean. And then, this is, <laughs> I know I only did like three passes, but look, this is the dirty water. Mm. Isn't that gross? Yes. And I did what, four passes? Yeah. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is also super satisfying. <laughs> this is like extremely satisfying. <laughs> it's got a little filter and stuff too, but wow. Okay, so I'm really not gonna do anything to these floors because these are gonna get ripped up in a few days, but I just wanted to show my first impressions and I, like I said, I'll link it below for you guys. So anyway. I am back at my parents' house now. I just took a shower and I'm doing laundry even though I like to do it on Friday nights. It's happening tonight because, you know, life. There's a little puppy with me. I'm actually doing my bedding laundry right now. And all my pillows are over there. So yeah, uh, finished up at the townhouse. The last thing I think you guys saw was me playing with my new uh, Bissell Crosswave. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, I'll let you know how it goes on the new floor. Obviously, I'll like take you guys along for that, but I'm really, really pumped about it. I mean, I did, what, three or four passes and I got all that gunk off? That's pretty epic. Tomorrow, my mom and I are gonna go back to the townhouse. I'm actually gonna paint. I didn't get to paint today at all. Kind of felt bad about that, but um, obviously there's a lot more painting to do tomorrow. I think I just underestimated how long everything was gonna take today. Um, that's okay, we've still got days left. What'd you do today, Doyle? <laughs> Alright, well I am going to end out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Doyle appreciates it too. Right, Doyle? You appreciate people watching you on the vlog? Yeah? I think he appreciates it. He likes it. But tomorrow you guys will see another fun-filled day full of townhouse progress. So, anyway, I am going to jet for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys! I'm going to say bye to your friends. Oh, 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 that's what I'm good for. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go. Bye, guys.